Hello everyone, today is a much requested tutorial on how to learn a different programming language. I will be showing a tutorial on how to use Python in comparison to Scratch. This will allow for you guys to understand the code and also be able to learn it more deeply into how it works. Take long to make a number guessing game at the end. I will be using this website, link in description, for these tutorials, but maybe in the future I will show how to use more advanced stuff like VS Code and Google IDX. Well, let's get straight into it. The website that I'm using is online-python.com. So on the left hand side here we'll have the Python code and on the right side here we'll have the scratch. So let's start with print hello world. Then we click run and we can see it printing hello world. Next we'll go and introduce a variable called x. So we'll define the variable as hello world with 3ds. So let's change this to variable x and then we have a problem here. It just says x. That's because we made the program print out x and not the variable x. We remove these and then we can go run and then we see hello world with too many d's. Anyway, we can change this to whatever we like. And we can go change this to, I don't know, maybe you should go do this. Yep. Just a tip, just go subscribe, please. Anyway, so then we can say if you want to print a variable and your own text at the same time. What we can do, we can go print F. And then we can go type in the one above the square brackets. Then you type in the variable name and then you type in what you want to say so then we go to run and then we see go subscribe to mr tip and we're in and like and then we can change it and that works like magic next what we can do is grab an input so for example, if we make it that way, this becomes an, let's say, player input. And wait, actually, I'll just do this and start a new line here. So player input equals input. Uh, channel name. Right, so get the input. Then we'll go print bracket, and we'll put the f this and then go five two and we'll type in these ones again. Then we'll go to player input and then we'll end it. Now if we click one, we can go channel name. Boom. Submit that. Yes, you should definitely do that. See, even the even the code's telling you to do that. I mean, that's just like something big, isn't it? Yeah. Next, what we will do is combine all of this stuff together to make a very fun to play number guessing game. So, what we can do is start by importing a library. So, a library is something that's already coded for you really and all you need to do with that is just import it and you know get it into your project you import random right because it's a random guessing ra random number guessing game next we can generate our secret number secret underscore number equals random dot random integer and we want it to be from one to one hundred so this is a variable we're declaring a variable then let's set maximum amount of guesses is equal to, let's just say 10. And then current guesses is equal to zero. And let's welcome them into the game. So print welcome to the number guessing game. Game. And then let's print how many like how many tries they have, all that information. 
for yes the secret number secret number between one of between one two no, between one and one hundred yep you have a total of let me put in these ones let me put max guesses attempts we'll stop then let's go make a while loop if you haven't heard of a while loop i really recommend searching it up on google or a video will be coming out if it's not out already like the, showing how while loops work and why they're so useful so here we have while the current guesses is smaller than the maximum guesses we can do try then we try and expect loops they're really good so guess we're declaring a new variable equals input enter your guess remember uh your guess has to be an integer which means that we'll have to put int otherwise it'll take it as a string and the string is a uh kind of like words right so integer makes it from words into numbers then let's go if guess is smaller than one or guess is bigger than 100 100 uh you know sabe they don't like put in a huge number you put a semicolon a colon not a semicolon of course so then you go print please put in the actual numbers please enter a number between 1 and 100 we'll stop and then let's just click continue continue Boom. i'll explain what what happened why we need that continue later on then we'll go current guesses is increased by one you can also do current guesses is equal to current guesses plus one but i think plus equals one it does the same thing so like i think it's just better to get used to that so if your guess is smaller than the secret number then we can tell them print you low Comma, a full stop. Try again. And then we can go else if or elif. Elif. Yes, is bigger than secret number. Then we can say, oh, keep putting semicolon instead of colon. What's going on? Okay, print too high. We'll stop, try again. There we go. What if they get the number? You know, then we'll just put else. Print. What's going on? Um, congrats. You have guessed the secret number. Um, and we'll tell them that oh yeah the secret number was in fact that number and i should like randomly type it in but anyway secret number in and then we'll tell them the amount of guesses or current guesses and we'll go attempts so congrats you have guessed the secret numbers 84 in six guesses and then we'll break it so it doesn't keep going on and then let's see we can accept value error. So, you know, if there's an error or something. Uh, hmm. Print. Oh, yeah, print. I completely forgot what to put there, but print invalid input. Invalid input. Please enter a valid number. We'll stop. Then we can exit this with a print. Thanks for playing. Boom. And we click run. Where is this? Line six. Oh, yeah, this needs to be an understore. Remember? Let me just make sure. Yes, yep, yep, yep. 
Making sure variables. Oh, yep, I've got one of these. Um, except. Hmm. Something. Oh, yeah. Whoops, my bad. Just need to backspace this one. Remember, Python runs on spaces, so you know if it's not accurate, then you'll just, you know, below seventy-five, too high, somewhere around sixty. Sixty is too high. Who has two O's? That says spelling error. Let's just keep going. Um, ignore the spelling error. Fifty-five, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four. Yay! Congrats! You have guessed the secret number for fifty-four and eight attempts. Thanks for playing. And I'll say if the person enters like negative one. Please enter a number between one and one hundred. Right? This is where the uh this one comes in. Right? And say if they put one fifty, fifty. Right? Too low until you put negative one or something. Right, it'll just keep going like that. So then what else could we do? Yep, and then say instead of putting a number they put like go subscribe. Because you should definitely do that. Invalid input, please put in a valid number. Well, go subscribe. Anyways, what if you run out of guesses? Oh, it doesn't really do anything, but we'll have to code that in. So let's just click stop here. So, what we can do, we can just down a little bit. The remaining guesses, remaining underscore guesses, is equal to our maximum amount of guesses. Take away your current amount of guesses. And then, if your remaining guesses is big, bigger than zero, then we can tell them. Oh yeah, you have that many guesses left. And let me say, put in, um, you have some remaining guesses, underscore, remember? That's the remaining wrong. Remaining guesses. You have remaining guesses, and so you have seven, and then if there's seven attempts, right? But say if you have one attempt left, it won't say you have one attempt, it'll be one attempt, right? So we can just put in this cool little piece of code. So attempts, and then you can go if remaining guesses. Remaining guessing, whoopsies. Remaining guesses is bigger than, smaller than one. Begin it, I'm sorry. Otherwise, just put attempt. Boom. Boom. And we can chuck this here into left. Boom. So, what this little piece of code does is that um, if it's more than one, then it puts attempts. But if it is, um, you know, not more than one, we we'll just put attempt. Right, so if it's one, okay, then we'll go that, and then say if you run out of zero, I run out of attempts. So else, you go print, and we go. Sorry, you have run out of guesses. You have run out of guesses or attempts. Let's just put attempts. We've been doing that the whole time. The secret number. Making sure it doesn't have an underscore. It's me. Is it, huh? The secret number was... And then we can put the secret number, so it's secret underscore number. Right, and then we full stop. Yep, boom, boom, boom. And then we can always remember to put break. This is break. And then we can delete these. And we click run. Enter your guess. Say, if I say no. Invalid input, please enter a valid number. Into your guess. 10. No, let's just actually play this game. 50. Too low, try again. 75. Too high. 60. Too low. 65. Too high. 64. 
too high again. 62. Oh, whoops. Stop. Click enter twice. That's why this is important, right? 60. 61. 61, right? Yep, there we go. Congrats, you have guessed the secret number 61 and 7 attempts. Hello, this is editing Mr. Tech Domain, and I just forgot to show you this tip. If you click this button here, it will ask you to name the file. Make sure whatever you name it, for example, like number guessing game, make sure it ends with .py. And oh, yeah, I lost all my code because I didn't really need it and I've saved it already. But imagine there's your number guessing game code. So make sure you name it like that, and you click yes, then it'll download it, right? Then, you, if you want to open the file, you click this button, then it'll take you to your things where you can click this, and then it opens it for you. So playing, and also, thanks for watching. Watch this video if you want to see uh, some cool computer pranks to play on your friends. Bye!